The 2016 election came to an ending with many people angry at the two-party system for giving us candidates like Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, candidates with historically bad favorability ratings. So let's talk about political parties, and I'll tell you eight things I bet you didn't know. The world's oldest active political party is the United States-owned Democratic Party. The Democrats traced their current name and history back to Andrew Jackson in 1828, but traced their heritage back even further to the Democratic Republicans that originated with Thomas Jefferson and James Madison, made famous again recently by the musical Hamilton. The other major party in the United States, the Republicans, can trace their history back to the 1850s, and the first Republican president was none other than Springfield's own Abraham Lincoln. The first American political party was neither of these, though. The Federalist Party, most notably associated with President John Adams and the first Treasury Secretary, the previously mentioned Alexander Hamilton, existed from 1789 to 1824 before dissolving. Many of the battles fought by the current two parties are actually the same as have always been fought. The current Democrats are often seen as in favor of big government, while the Republicans are seen in favor of small government which is the exact same battle fought by the Federalists, wanting to expand the role of the central government, and the Jefferson-led Democratic Republicans, who were more for states' rights back in the early days of our country. Beyond the two big parties, only one other party has been given major party status in all 50 states, and that, the Libertarian Party. In addition, the Green Party has major party status in 44 of the states. Besides the Federalists, Republicans, and Democrats, and the preceding Democratic Republicans, only two other political parties have ever gotten a person to the presidency, the Whig Party with four presidents from 1841 to 1853, and the American Union Party, to which Andrew Johnson was part of. Although in fairness, the American Union Party was more of a rebranding of a small part of the Republican Party during the Civil War. Various minor political parties with no real power exist in the United States, including even the United States Pirate Party, which may sound like a great event to dress like Johnny Depp and party like it's 1799, but in actuality, the Pirate Party actually advocates for a change in our intellectual property laws, wanting to drastically limit copyright protections in order to make access to information much more open. The two-party system has almost always dominated U.S. politics. The current two parties have existed and held the presidency in every election going back to 1852, with the kind of exception of Lincoln Johnson as American Union in 1864. Prior to that, the Whigs and Democrats battled out, and prior to that, the Federalists and Democrats battled it out. So, two-party system, pretty much always a thing. Thanks for watching. That was eight things I bet you didn't know about political parties.